Color grading is probably one of the most difficult things I've ever tried to do as a video editor. And quite honestly, I think it's something that's kind of tedious. Or so I thought until yesterday. So yesterday I was working on a video for my weekly upload challenge and I found that color grading is actually not as difficult as I thought it was, but that's because I was approaching it from the very wrong angle and me being stubborn and not having the correct mindset towards progress and growing in this case, didn't really seek out the help that I might have needed. <laughs> so effectively I was color grading footage just like this from my own understanding of color <laughs> as an artist instead of looking at the proper way and doing things the right way. So quite frankly, I don't even understand why I was doing that because I'm not as experienced as some of these other people who are able to do it just like that. So the idea for today's video was to pretty much just take a piece of video that I had edited before and had had some issues with when it came to the color grading aspect of it and completely go again and do parts of it differently to try and fix the color grade to grant an explanation as to why I hated color grading so much and why now I don't feel as if I have as much of a problem with it at all. So I've posted this video and it's been posted by the foxes themselves as well. You guys will see what I mean by the uh, well, I would probably say quite horrific job that I've done in some places with matching colors. We will we'll get to the reasons why. So it seems like the colors I'm going for in this video already going with the orangey vibe, right? However, I wanted very neutral tones, as you'll see in the next couple of clips here, because you can see the colors aren't consistent. They aren't really, you know, complimenting anything too much. See like here, for example, oranges are there a lot, but then this is correct color balance. I think the best way to explain it is that <laughs> I've tried a little bit too hard to do the editing the right way. Actually, I'll showcase it with this clip right here. When I would have the video, the original flat profile would look like this. So the initial color grade would look like this. So that being said, I can show you the difference side by side. Let's say, let's put it here. The grade is in this part, the grade is actually quite good. Although I would wish that the blues were a bit more prominent. The skin tones don't look quite right in my opinion. Here's the first thing that we'll do. Maybe I should explain this properly first, but in the first video that I've talked about with camera stuff, I didn't mention tuning log profiles that much. So let me basically explain what that is now. When you shoot in a log profile, it will get all the contrast and dynamic range that it can possibly record instead of flattening it and already editing it for you basically. The color are washed out because it's basically trying to expand the dynamic range of the image which means that you can then manipulate the colors you can then make them look like what they look on the right and change them into what it looks like on the left so really it's then all down to your imagination and what you want to work with in most sports videos what you'll tend to see is that the tint is quite bluish depending on whether or not it's like in a darker space gym video or whether it's like a sports video usually the colors are quite dark, quite bleak. You can see here on the right hand side that this part of the video has a very dark feeling. First of all, the way how I'm going to do this is I'm going to switch the window and the workspace to color. So now I have the scopes on the right hand side. So, so this graphic on the left is a representation of all the colors inside this video. I've done that to the actual video file, but in most cases, what will be recommended is to put a adjustment layer over the top. So I'm going to make an adjustment layer and I'm going to add the adjustment layer right here. Put this over the clip that I want to work on. Now in the adjustment layer, I can create first thing to do is to put a lot over the top of it. I can actually put here, this is what lot means. <laughs> so you can start by putting a lot directly over the file and then that will change the colors and that will affect everything from the start. So if I wanted to get it more like the gritty cinematic video that was being shown later, that's the contrast we've got. So now if we look at the difference between the two, we can see one's got such crispy color that's coming out of it. Like the blues are more like what I'm wanting to get out of the original video. However, there's more clippings in the highlights and you can actually see that here where it goes over hundred in some cases, which means that the highlights are way too bright in this image. So 
Then what we do is I then want to put a lot here for basic correction, but instead for creative, I will then put a look here. And the ones that I like to use is mainly these Kodak ones, uh, SL Gold Rush low dynamic range. So if we go for the high dynamic range one. So then the next thing is, is you can adjust how much of the lot is actually being applied here. So let's put it about 80. I think that'll be good. So we'll put it here. So then the next thing that we'll do, basic color correction. So now we get to do the easier part, which is just fiddling around with the sliders. So for instance, I want things to be much more blue, but I feel like this scene is kind of gritty and dark now. So one thing that we can do is we can affect which color is in the rest of the tones. We can then change this here. But now you can see such a clear difference and how we went from this scene on the left you have a very washed out image but with this one on the right it fits a lot more into the style that we're going for it's much more cinematic as well and the tones in the oranges on the skin don't look as prominent they don't look as distracting you really focus a lot more on the blues because the blues are being accented so much on this right frame now you can see on the left as well that the scope is a lot wider I know I'm probably explaining this in a way that's not the most, I want to say amateur friendly, <laughs> but I feel like there are things I could say that could probably help with me explaining this in a better way. Easiest way to explain it is what story do you get? What vibe do you get from looking at these two images? It then all tells the same story. Then now I can play this clip again. and it matches, <laughs> it goes together. It's impossible for everything to look good all at once, all the time. And that's fine, that's completely fine. Not everything is gonna be perfect. It's fine for things not to be perfect at the first instance. Like, you can make things look better, you can make things work. If you don't try, the same way I wasn't trying before, but have decided and have, you know, done a lot of things now to make sure that I am actually trying to get to what I'm trying to get to. It works. <laughs> you just gotta keep working hard. And if you don't, someone else is gonna do it and be at the position you wanna be at. Who can you blame but yourself? Anyways, <laughs> I think that's been more than enough that I've said for this whole thing. And I've probably run out of space of both the um, screen recording <laughs> as well as the space for um, shooting this audio and this video being recorded. I guess at the end of the day, if you just want to get out there and create, absolutely can. There's nothing stopping you. There's no one stopping you. Go get what you want to get done, whether it's color grading, anything. All I'm trying to show you is detailed progress of being at somewhere that's not great. I know a lot of people think I'm talented with my art. Nah, <laughs> I just worked hard. But I'm not going to dismiss, you know, what I've been given, whether it's a gift or not. Wait, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks guys for watching. Um, subscribe uh, to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell. I will also link my previous video about my camera gear. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching this video to the end. So yeah, take care guys and I'll see you in a bit.